I remember when I started collecting, I wanted to focus on JRPGs. Every now and then I used to collect a game or two from other genres, but my love for RPGs got me dead set on mostly focusing on them. The entire market back then was different. There was just a bunch of us out there trying to collect them. In fact, it was so easy to find them for a decent price or even dirt cheap, because most people didn't want them. In my time, collectors were starting to buy Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Nobody was paying top-notch prices for any RPG whatsoever though. Chrono Trigger copies sold for 50 bucks and that was considered expensive. Today, a loose copy of it goes for over 200. I remember getting two copies of Valkyrie Profile in great condition, both for 30 bucks. I actually sold one for 70 bucks a few months afterwards. I posted the game for 80 on different places and the only guy interested in paying that amount talked me down to 70. He even gave me this keychain to commemorate the event. Ha! <laughs> Such a strange guy. Valkyrie Profile nowadays goes for over 400 US dollars. So what the hell happened? Most people will blame it on the pandemic, that's true. Millions of people got into gaming because they were locked up with limited entertainment out there. Just imagine how many of those millions actually got into collecting. Especially since most of them started buying games merely out of nostalgia. And they had the money to do it because they weren't spending it on anything else. So overpaying a retro game was normal because they were ignorant of the market. Are they to blame for this insane price increase on video games? But what about RPGs? Didn't I say it was a very niche thing back then? What the hell got everybody so interested in the genre then? Us YouTubers? Friends? Or family? The internet itself? Then there's the resellers. Obviously they took advantage of this situation, but isn't that what any normal merchant will do? They do this for a living, so if something is trending, they need to go after it to make a profit. Scalpers, however, also took advantage and I've seen some really nasty cases around. Some douchebags selling a $100 RPG for $300 to someone else. Someone that probably doesn't know shit about RPG collecting. I've also seen cases of others trying to rip people off, but they thankfully failed. So, are scalpers to blame? Or any other reseller out there? What about the consumer? Some collectors, even being aware of the current market price of an RPG, are still willing to pay those outrageous prices. Once a few of them do, the game's price goes up again. But that's always been the case even from before most of us started collecting. It's only natural that if something is selling or trending, and if people are paying for it, chances are the price will gradually increase. So it seems to me that there's not just one type of people to blame. It's pretty much everybody and everything. One thing led to another and now RPG collecting is horrible. It's a goddamn luxury that most people won't be able to afford. I've always encouraged emulation no matter the reason. Now I'm encouraging it even for more obvious reasons. If you think you're stealing or committing a crime by doing it, think twice. Companies aren't making any money out of retro RPGs anymore, unless they re-release them digitally, which is something some of them have been doing for the past few years. But only with some titles. Most of them are still lost out there, and the only way to play them is to pay the outrageous price some resellers ask for them, or by emulating them. So what's the crime here? Who exactly are you stealing from? Is an emulation the only way nowadays for most people, even from first world countries, to play some of these RPGs? It certainly puts things into perspective. Is there any solution to this? Will prices go back to normal once Covid is over? I don't think so, especially not with retro games. I strongly believe those prices are here to stay. They probably won't go up anymore since most random people, who are still paying their prices right now, will stop collecting. Probably. Some very obscure and niche RPGs might go down a little bit, but it's still highly unpredictable. There's no way to know. So as RPG collectors, are we stuck with these prices even if the pandemic ends? Since it's a luxury now, most of us won't be able to afford them, or won't even want to afford them. Will the market crash then, if most of us stop paying those prices? The future of RPG collecting seems grim. Very grim indeed. And well, since there doesn't seem to be any conclusion whatsoever, looks like I'm gonna have to bring someone else for this discussion in the near future. So with that said, see you next time.